Right now we are heading into the Auschwitz concentration camp where we will be seeing the site of the martyrdom of so many men, women, and children. I believe the exact number they said was 1,100,000, which 90% of them being Jews. There's honestly no words to describe what it feels like to walk in here right now and just see the history and like see the presence of evil, but at the same time knowing that through all of that with people like St. Maximilian and Colby, just how the goodness of God always prevails. It's a very sad place. The suffering that went on here just, it's, it's overwhelming. And, uh, just very sad. Makes it so important for us to know the light of Christ and to live his truth and this is the second time I've been here and first time the same overwhelming sadness um, I took one picture the first time I came of the gate and it's just like a, a heavy And hopefully it just helps us realize how evil is very real <laughs> and how we have to seek the good that is Jesus Christ who lives among us, who lived with the people here. Just the, as we've heard, man's inhumanity to man is, is so devastating. I'm very glad that everyone's being quiet and respectful. It's a very somber place. Um, it is just baffling the, the level of organized evil that was, that was shown here. And I'm, I'm glad that people get to, get to see it and try and reflect upon it and try to better understand our place in this world. campamento de Auschwitz. Hoy en este día atrás de mí está la celda del bloque 11 en donde este murieron murió de hambre el padre Maximiliano Colby cuando se entregó por parte de un prisionero. Y es en este bloque estamos este, pensando y asimilando lo que pasó hace mucho hace muchos años. So I thank you for for being here. It probably wasn't something you, maybe some of you have said, I always wanted to do this. Others may have just said, oh, we're going to Auschwitz. Where's that? What's that? But I will, I believe it will have an impact and has had an impact on all of you. Don't let it cause despair. There's too much of that. There's too many people abandoning faith and believing that darkness covers the earth and so we just need to grab what we can and enjoy what we can and forget tomorrow, forget eternity. But that is despair. We are not 
that kind of people. So as we continue, we're appropriately going to celebrate the Eucharist. And when, every time we celebrate the Mass, we're really entering into that saving act, that mystery that is Jesus Christ, who died on a cross for these people, for all the people before Him, and all the people that will come after us. When humanity is diminished, when we forget, and we do, when we forget that we are created in the image of God, then the human family be begins to self-destruct. And this is an image and a reminder of just how diabolical that can be.